hey y'all good afternoon Ooh, hair is a mess i was just messing with it so that's probably why i was just playing with it um here's winnie we are headed home for well my parents house i should say um because i say headed home y'all think of my apartment um no we're headed to my parents house for a couple days he has a big vet appointment with his normal vet um he has one in williamsburg but like back home is the one i trust more not that the one in williamsburg is wrong it's just or bad or anything it's just that the one in columbus is his normal vet he always goes to the vaccine so i just trust them to be more accurate on the dates he needs them again you know his booster ah, i pulled up to the window come here buddy um the guy saw winnie and he's like oh my goodness it's huge i was like yeah i have a big old boy back there he's like would you like a puppy cup yeah thank you my puppy needs a pup cup so i'm giving that to him right now i just pulled into a spot right next to the um drive through to make it easier um, because otherwise Winston decides to take the cups when they're empty and like bat them around and basically play kickball with them in my back seat and it's kind of distracting and it shakes the car a little bit and while I love him I also want him to be safe my food is smelling amazing um yeah there's some on the outside bub get the outside there you go oh there's still some on the inside no sorry um but yeah so we stopped at Starbucks my wonderful amazing boyfriend who's not here yet he moves in on Tuesday the 17th today is Tuesday the 10th so one week he moves into his dorm um and there's still a little bit left in there bubba and so we um we're talking and he goes do you want some food and i was like well yeah but i just don't have that much money i just paid most of my bills like my rent and all that and he's like oh i'll get you some starbucks or something just tell me what you want so before i started driving i texted him telling him what i oh my gosh there's a lot of stuff in here he tries to spoil me, guys. I did not order all this. Okay, what is this? Chicken caprese panini. I remember asking for that. That's what smells so good. Oh, I've never tried this one. I decided I want to try it. Grilled cheese, and the cheese is like coming out everywhere. I love Starbucks grilled cheese. I'm a grilled cheese connoisseur. I try it everywhere I go. And Starbucks has the best. What is this? This is a brownie. What is this? Another brownie. Why did they put those in the same bag? Oh, any. What is it? Oh, yes, yeah, a cheese danish. I did ask for that. A chocolate croissant. I asked for that. And a cookie. So he got me two extra brownies and a cookie that he didn't ask for. I asked for the croissant and the danish because neither of them are super big or thicker. But they're kind of filling because they're bready. But. And then I said a grilled cheese to go with the chocolate croissant and the cheese danish because i was like mm, kind of in a breakfast kind of in a lunch mood even though it's almost three um and then i said i want cake pop boy well, they were out of cake pops at this location and this isn't my normal location i normally go to the one in london and i'm clear in richmond so it's later and i'm hungry um i'm just gonna want to keep this out this stuff's hot and i don't want to melt the chocolate in the chocolate chip because these are the brownies um the car or, let me i was using my tripod i have one of those um gorilla ones by joby so you can like do things with it so while i was feeding winnie's pup cup i put it on um my steering wheel <laughs> but um, i'm kind of a mess that's like laundry that has to go home and there's all kinds of stuff there and like the, the trunk is full because i try to leave space open for him winnie i just realized we forgot your bed i literally ordered him a bed last time or like bought one last time was home. Left, I was gonna leave it at home, the other one. But then I forgot it. So basically his blue one's his older one that's kind of falling apart a little bit. Not because he he chews on it or anything, just because like use, because he's had it for like a year. Um, just like how, you know, your sheets break down if you were to use them all the time and you have to like replace your sheets or whatever. You replace your mattress or your pillows after every so often. Well, I took that one home because that was the bigger one. And then I was gonna leave so I was gonna take the blue one home because the new one's black. So I was gonna take the new one home. So I'm like watching people over at the, there's a Texas Roadhouse. I'm watching them, people outside. Um, so I was gonna take the blue one home and I just realized I left it by the door and I still forgot it. So I didn't have a bed. Oh, well, I think my parents have an extra blow up mattress. We'll just put some kind of protector on it so it doesn't matter. And he can sleep on the blow up mattress. I mean like, so his nails can't go through it, but his nails are pretty dull. We just trimmed them down. But now I feel stupid. 
Because I literally, if I don't have things by the door, I forget them. So I literally put it by the door and I still flip and forgot it. Anyhow, I'm going to get back on the road. I'm going to eat on the road because I want to get home. Um, this is saying I've, I'm going to get home around 535. Also, the sky is getting darker. Let's see. Can you see that? If it'll adjust. There we go. See, the sky is getting darker. And I already drove through, like, some bad stormy weather. Like, did you want to say something, Winnie? You act like you're saying you want to say something. No, okay, he's people watching. But we already drove through some bad weather, like lightning, like couldn't go more than like 10 miles per hour, hydroplane because there was like floodwaters across the roads. Like, I don't want to go through that again. So we're going to go hop on the road and I will catch with, with you guys probably at the rest area, wherever we decide to stop. Shh, don't tell Winnie. He'll get too excited ahead of time. We are at the rest area. He's gonna go to the bathroom now. I gave him some water a bit ago, so he probably has to pee. I can hear him peeing back there. Let's see if I can... There we go. You're not seeing me very well, but there you go. I put the camera on my mirror. So I don't have to hold it. I really love this thing. If you're thinking about getting a gorilla arm um, tripod from Joby, do it. Best investment I ever made for my YouTube. Um, like I said, he's wandering around behind me. Uh, Lainey, don't go too far. He's a really good recall. Um, so don't. There's no one else here. It's not like he's gonna bother anybody. He's technically off duty. Oh, you're behind me now. He's touching me. I can feel him headbutting me a little bit. Like, I'm right here, mommy. Um, he's literally right here, like, like from my arm, I can touch his tail. Uh, his tail because he's like flagging it, but like there's no one else, like there's a couple other cars here, but they're not in the dog walk area, there's no person, there's no dog, he's not going to bother them, so he has a really good recall, and I let him off leash a lot when he's not working and stuff, so don't think that like, I'm a really bad mom for this or something, he does have a good recall and everything. In fact, he's just standing here now. I didn't want him to just, just didn't want him to keep walking. He was fine where he was, but. Lanny's here. Oh. Hey, come here. He's like, I am right here. He's uh, enjoying the wind blowing through his ears. He literally is standing right next to me. I just meant I wanted him to turn around. Lanny, turn around. Hey. Yeah, he's literally right here. We love mommy. Come give me kissy. Yeah. So, um, I think I'm gonna run in to the bathroom real quick while we're here. Um, no, I'm not just gonna leave him here unattended. I'll take care of him. But yeah, so he'll go with me. I'll just put his harness and his uh, leash on him, and he'll go in with me. I've never had an issue with this rest area or any other one along I-75 in Kentucky for that matter. I've never had issues taking him into rest area without being labeled. Uh, if someone were to say something, I'd be like, hey, he's a service dog. Like, do you not see how well he's healing and everything? Uh, but yeah. I do still put like a leash. I'm going to run to the bathroom here very shortly because I really have to pee all of a sudden. So like, <laughs> your girl don't need to be holding the camera. She needs to be running. No, we're not going to the bathroom. And then before I go, let me show you. It's this way. It's like sunny and everything, but that way it's still really dark. So here's to hoping I don't run into any more bad weather. You can see how much it's like the wind's blowing from my hair. Like, <laughs> but yeah. So I'm gonna grab his stuff that he needs. That I feel he needs to go into the rest area with me. Um, we're gonna go. He's just standing right there. Can't really car. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? I thought he'd jump up and put his front paws on my leg. He does it sometimes. Is he gonna sit right there? Yep. He walks himself into a sit. I'll just show you guys. I don't know if I can. But he like walked into. It's weird. I've never known a dog to do that. I'm gonna get Winnie some water. He's literally. Right there. You can't really see him, but he's right there. Winnie's. What are you doing? 
Um, like I said, he already peed. He normally only poops twice a day after he eats meals. So he pooped this morning, so I'm not worried about that. He shouldn't have to. Um, yeah, he peed and everything, so now I'm gonna head inside and I will catch you guys later. The next day. Hey y'all, okay, so I'm running late this morning, but like, what's new? Like I mentioned in the last video, didn't get that unlocked yet. Um, what service dog handler runs on time? There it goes. I don't know one, please, if you know one, let me know, because I don't. Um, Winnie, come here, baby. Oh wait, you gotta get on the other side, okay. Um, I'm headed to the dentist, and like I said, I'm running like about 10 minutes or so late. Winnie, come here, baby. Winnie, we gotta go. So, dentist was a success. Clean teeth and no cavities. Woohoo! Um, I've had some bad ones in the past. <laughs> so was my mom, so I'm prone to it. But, uh, luckily, this time, there were none. So that's a good thing. Um, come here, Winnie. I'm looking for something specific. Okay, let's go this way. See if we find another regular cheese aisle, Winnie. I don't know where I'm going. I don't go to this program much. <laughs> um, oh, Winnie, where are we going? Which aisle do we need? I don't even know. I used to come here occasionally with Grammy when she was still living. Um, but she knew like where everything was and she told me which aisles to go in and I don't know now. Man, this is awful. Okay, that's better. Okay. I'm just trying to look at the like, fine things. Hoping I'll see what I need. I mean, I know I have to go near the cult. Oh wait, here's cheese back here. Okay, so anyhow, mom wanted me to make a special recipe I normally make for them tonight. But my brother doesn't like it. But my brother has moved back into college. So he's not home. Sorry, bro. <laughs> um, but, but you don't get a toys anymore. Um, so now I am I'm trying to find what I need. Uh, there we go, maybe. Uh, there it is. I see it now. Okay. Oops. The handle's on this side. The handles are weird. weird. They're not like all the same size. Is that like a Kroger thing? The Kroger Marketplace thing? I don't know. Don't move, Winnie. Because mommy is trying to reach and it's pretty far. Guys, I can't reach it. What I need is right there. This is one of those moments I just wanna like, wish I could just like throw my dog and he would catch everything, you know? And get it for me. That'd be nice. It's also nice when I go shopping with my boyfriend because I'm like 5'5 five five and he's like, I don't know, 6'1 or something? He's 6 something. So, <laughs> that makes it easier. <laughs> um, but yeah. So we have to put a cheese. She wants to make me this and she said that she thought she had everything and I like looked and this was the only thing. So, I'm also gonna get some milk because I can't have regular milk and that's what daddy drinks. So I need to go get like, come on, Winnie, the lactose free. Come on, Winnie. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's where we're at. And then for dinner, I'm gonna make a special um, recipe that mom and dad love that I don't, I'm not home often enough to make it often enough. So, yeah. Let's see, Winnie. Oh, there it is. Come here. We're gonna wait until the other people get their stuff so we don't get in the way. But yeah, so that's the update for now. Here's Winnie. He's oddly sniffing my leg. I don't know. Come away, Bubba. Come this way. Thank you. Um, I get dogs wanting to sniff other things so they don't recognize, but like my leg. I've been with y'all day, Winston. Okay, guys. When you just tried to split the pool with me, I would have just walked right into it. Um. Run, Winnie. Stay on this side. No, 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 no. You know what, just drag your leash then. Just don't ruin it, please. He's really good about staying beside me when he's not on leash. I only know this from like dog parks and stuff. He still doesn't want to get away from me. But anyhow. Um, hold on, 
working as fast as I can. I know this pavement has to be hot on his feet. There you go, baby. Well, let me get the car started, then I'll get your gear off you, okay? Um, I'm gonna get the car started just as hot as it is today. I don't want him to get too hot. So we got the milk that I like, that Daddy will also drink if need be. Um, there you go, Bubby. Air is on. I'll leave my door open and yours while I'm working with you so that you can cool off. Don't worry, we're not taking up a spot with this. It's like a, we're near, we parked right next to the um, handicapped spot. Like I'm the first one that's not handicapped. So there's, you know, that little space there. And I'm still not even that close to the handicapped vehicle next to me. Um, taking his gear off of him. Like I said earlier, I don't like to have it on him when he's in the car. And after um, I'm done getting this off of him, we're gonna run Red Cross and use points I just got in Kroger to get some cheaper gas. Which I'll leave that down, you're fine. And then we're gonna just head home and I'll do some like kitchen prep to um, make some dinner for my parents tonight. Should have gotten my special seasoning in there that I normally get for mine and made them like some grilled chicken with the tomato salad. But I may still, I have another way I can make it with like the seasonings I've already got and like add them together. And mom is pretty good, like me, about keeping seasonings. So I think I'm going to um, talk to her in a little bit and just be like, hey, can I make the whole dinner and make that tomato salad thing that I was talking about? And then I can show you all it. I hate this parking lot. Honestly, I'm not even saying it's all Kroger's because the one down in Corbin, Kentucky that I go to to get my medicines, um, before even says anything, I go to Kroger because it's the cheapest. Don't try to bring me up to speed on the Walmart guarantee or whatever because I've talked to them and they don't accept my insurance as much as Kroger. Like, for example, GoodRx the other day, I checked out of curiosity because my uh, psychiatrist wanted me to and they were gonna charge me $16 after like using GoodRx according to that and um with my insurance i only had to pay five it literally went from 16 to five dollars so you know um but with that being said um we're gonna run over and like i said use the points that we've got to get and then we're going to um, head home and I think prep a little bit.